Hi folks, if you've got a Renault Clio 2, this is a 2004 model, and we've got an airbag light on, and also a service light. Now if you've got that combination of lights on, this could be your problem. Let's have a look at it. Right, we've put the car through the MOT, as you know, in the previous video, the car went through fine. We've just got the common old fault that happens with these uh, Renault Clios, is the airbag light and the service light has come on, and we've had a look at it, There's a, we've, we've had a little look around YouTube. YouTube said try a few different things, and I'm gonna show you them things now. The things that we've tried, which uh, the people who have had this similar problem have had, have not worked, and I'll just show you what they are so that you can rule them out before you actually go any further. We think we found the problem anyway, so let's have a look. Right, so first of all, we turn this little Renault Clio ignition on, and once we start the car, everything's gone out at the moment. And as you can see, the two lights that come back on is the service light and the airbag light. So even when we start the car up and run it, them lights stay on. Okay, so what we found is, is that looking on YouTube, few people have had the same problem and they've tried a couple of different things and they've worked. Well, we've tried these things and they haven't worked. And I'm gonna show you what we've done. We plugged in a, a diagnostic tester as well and we actually found where the problem lies. But first of all, the first thing which you'll hear if you watch other videos is that people say that the problem lies under the seat and it's with the connector and you either wiggle the connector and try and get a good connection and that solved the problem. Some people have done that, it has worked. Some people then say you have to cut the connector out and then solder the cables up. Well, we've actually done that, I'll show you. So first of all, this is the gray connector, which there's two connectors under there. There's a black one and there's a gray one. This is the gray one, which we've taken out of circuit now. Now apparently some people have uh, just wiggled this about, cleaned the contacts with contact cleaner and then put it back and it's worked. It didn't work in our case and then the other remedy is to actually take this connector out like this and if you can see down there we bypassed the connector we've uh, soldered the cables up and we've heat shrinked them together right that was the first port of call and again as i said to you that didn't work the next port of call is behind this little console here which is the top cover of the driver's binnacle just in front of the driver's binnacle if you actually take this off what you've got here is a black connector now a lot of people have said they've just pushed that black connector in and give it a little wiggle and pushed it back in and that has solved the problem where it's made the service light and the, the airbag light go out as well. So that might be your problem. So you should try that first before going any further. Right, so you might be asking what that grey cable does with that connector, with this here. Well this goes to the, there's two things that go into this seat. One is the airbag cable, which is the black cable we think we just traced it out. And the other one, which does this gray connector, is the pretensioner. Now the pretensioner, if I should show you where it is. Right, this is the obviously the passenger seat we're looking at at the moment. Now, this pretensioner, or the pretensioner, which is what that gray cable does, in the event of a crash or something, this has got a little piston inside here which pulls the seat tight and, and tensions the belt around you and this is what that grey cable does and if we undo this socket there which is a little torx bit which we've done in this case you can take the side cover off and if you can see here there's like a little piston thing here with a little connector on the top well this is the other end of that connector now we're just going to disconnect the battery and then we're going to just disconnect this pretensioner here just to see if the connections are okay on there Right, so this little pretensioner cable, this is the other end of it. You may or may not have a good connection in here, or something might have been spilt, as you can see, but if you just pull it out, as you can see there, look. There's a little two-pronged terminal down there. And as I say, that's got a little explosive device in it, I would imagine, which tensions... It shoots that, up there. Yeah, a little piston shoots up there, and that tightens the seatbelt around you uh, in the event of uh, an accident. So that's what the grey cable does. So you just want to make sure that, again, this is... Um, all clean and making decent connections. So that's the pretensioner on the passenger side, which as I say, that's where that gray cable goes. I don't think no one actually shows that on their video. So that's why we're doing this to show you exactly what that gray connector does. It's your pretensioner. Your black connector under your seat, that one by the looks of it goes up to your airbag in the side of the seat. So again, that then means a lot more work to get that out. So all you can ensure there is that that connection's making a good connection by just wiggling the connector 
and making sure that it's clean. Right, now, with this tester, we were able to read the fault codes and find out exactly what these sockets do under the seats. The big black one, the connector, does the thoracic seat bag or the airbag on the side, if you look here, on the side of the, is it there? You see it? Yeah. On the side of the passenger side seat. The small grey connector goes to the seat belt pretensioner which we just shown you on the other side of the passenger seat which tensions up the seat belt and a little piston pulls that and tightens that seat belt in around you now we had another fault which we couldn't find and it was side passenger side circuit now we've done a bit more investigation and as i said that's nothing to do with these two seat uh, plugs under here there is a third one and if we show you down the side of the passenger side trim that normally runs along there you may be able to see this little thing down here well this is another sensor which we think we've got our problem with because this shows up as a short circuit we've only just located this one but this is another part which can bring on the uh, airbag light and your service light so we're in the process now of just taking this out because it's saying that this is short circuited now when it says short circuit i don't know whether it's something's been spilt out on it or it could be just faulty or whatever but we're going to find out in a second once we take this out right okay i've just taken this little sensor out now as you can see it's a little two terminal device and you have to take two long bolts out and then it lifts out and then underneath there's a plug which you just push with a little terminal screwdriver pull the connector out and then you're left with this so basically we've now disconnected all three sensors on this side the pretensioner we've also disconnected the airbag thoracic airbag on the side of the seat and now we've also disconnected the side sensor and all so we're just going to connect the battery up now read the code reader just make sure that all these things now are showing open circuit the one we're interested in is this one because if this now shows open circuit we know that this is our problem it is a short circuit so gary's going to connect the battery up now and we'll have a look at the code reader right so diagnose we want to do a scan renault we're going to do a manual scan because we want to choose what we want to check we want to check the airbag and pretensioners right we're just going to clear the faults that are there at the moment and then read them all again because as i say we've got all them three of them sensors disconnected so we just clear them all and if we read them now, these are fresh once we've put the battery back on. Right, we've got three. So we've got, as you can probably see there, we've got the front passenger thorax side airbag circuit, open circuit. Now, as I said to you, that is the black cable under your seat or the black connector under your seat, the big black one. If I scroll down, this is the gray cable which is this one that everybody talks about that actually does your passengers front side buckle pretensioner circuit and that is open circuit because I've disconnected it as you can see on the side of the seat on that little piston thing there and this is the one I want to come up now as open circuit number three There we go, passenger side, front side sensor circuit, no signal. And the reason being is because I've taken it out. So this is our problem, which is causing our airbag problem light on our dashboard and the service light to come on. Because initially this was showing as a short circuit. Now just to prove this is the case, I'm now going to plug the other two back in. In other words, this one here, and where's the black one going? Just and the black one there for the side airbag, and both of them faults should clear, and then just leave the single fault which we have still, which is this one here, which caused our initial problem. So Gary's going to disconnect the battery again, yeah. and we'll just connect these up quickly, and then run the same test. Right, it's just going over now, just to disconnect the battery, because I don't like plugging seat belt and airbag stuff in while we've still got the battery connected right he's just disconnected that so i'm just gonna push in this one here
Right, that one is pushed back in. Right, Gary's just going to connect the one under the seat. Oh, that's clipped. Right, so he's clipped that one in now. So now we're going to connect the battery up. See, we, we, we wouldn't have known all this if we didn't have a diagnostic meter. Because all we had is the same as what other people had with the lights, the service light and the airbag light. And we've had people with that fault. We've had people cut the connectors out like that. And it's guesswork. You, you've got to have proper equipment sometimes to diagnose a problem. It's all right trying them other things, but you have to really know. So, right, we're going to go to diagnose. We're going to go to scan. Renault. Latest version we're on the software. Right, Clio phase two, I think this is. Right, we're gonna do a manual scan just of the seat belt and the airbags, the pretensioners, that's all we want to do. Airbag pretensioners. Right, so we're gonna clear the faults. And then we're gonna start afresh. So we just cleared them, and I'm hoping now just to read one fault code to prove our point. There we go. Passenger side, front side sensor circuit, no signal. And that's the only fault. So any other problem which we can now illuminate is this thing, which was the pretensioner. And if it was a pretensioner, all you'd get on the dashboard would be your airbag light as we have there and also our service light. But when you've got a piece of equipment which can read what exactly the problem is, it tells you exactly what the problem is. And we've you've just seen us clear the other two forks by plugging them in. This is our problem now. I don't think this part is recoverable. So it's going to need a new one of these. And once you plug that in, that will clear that fault and out should go our light. Right, we just phoned Renault up. This from Renault is 52 pounds. And if you get one on eBay, I think they're about 15 pounds. So you make your mind up which way you want to go. I know what way we're going to go. So we are going to have to finish this video here. But I can guarantee this would have sorted out the problem because that's now cleared all the other fault codes and we know exactly what the cables do by what I've just said in the previous video. So don't take a guess. If you've got, if you've got, a, if you obviously do check that cable, the grey cable, but don't think you have to cut it off and then solder it up like we've had to do. I was just working off of YouTube videos. Now I actually know what the situation is. The, the grey connector underneath does the seatbelt pretensioner. The black connector underneath does the frattic airbag in the side of the seat. And the other code which we had does is this thing here, which is your side impact bar. And it's the passenger side, front side sensor. And that's what that is, and that's our problem. We just proved it by taking it out of circuit, and it's come up there with open circuit. So there you go. That's how you find your problem on your airbag light and your service light coming up together. Do have a, do check your connector under there, as I said to you before, just give it a push in, give them terminals a wiggle. But if you could plug a sensor in and actually read what the codes are, you now know exactly what each of them does. Anyway, I hope that was of some interest to you. And we're gonna get a new one of these, not off of Renault, we're going to get one off of eBay for £15. So thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.